this is what I have. I put all the current terms on the left, and I also reversed the order of the current terms from how it was written. And all the voltage terms are on the right. Now look at the term on the left side and the delta Z coefficients, which are right here and here on the right side. If we divide the entire equation by delta Z, the delta Z terms go away on the, on the right, and then we can get a spatial difference term on the left, which we can write here, minus Z plus delta Z. Sorry, sometimes I put, I tend to put a line through my Z's. Minus and I'm noticing I need a parentheses around this entire thing. And this is a spatial derivative, is fine for our transmission line segment, but in real life we have a continuous transmission line. What do you think we should do to the delta Z term to convert it to continuous space? What if we were to take the limit where delta Z goes to zero. This is the limit where each transmission line segment becomes infinitesimally short. Then we can write the left side as a partial derivative with respect to space. That is, all the delta z's in the equation go to zero. Then the final form we get is, on the left side, is this. Partial derivative here because of the it's a function of z and t. And we can also get the same on the right. So we have g prime, the delta z went away when we divided the entire equation. And we get c prime, partial derivative v, because in time we can also have time evolve continuously. Looking at this equation, we can first see that the current and the voltage are both a function of time and position position Z along the transmission line. This is expected because we are using distributed circuit theory rather than lumped element circuit theory. Before, a wire segment would be a straight black line that would have the same current and voltage along its entire length. The current and voltage would travel infinitely fast. And now we have a wire segment that has current and voltages that vary along its length. Z. Let's take a step back for a moment, and looking at this equation, how would you describe this equation in words? You could pause the video if you like. Well, we could say how the current changes in space, with this delta z derivative, at a point along the transmission line depends on some coefficients that depend on the transmission line geometry and the materials as well as the voltage at that same point in space, and it also depends on how the voltage is changing in time at that same point in space. Now take a moment to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law by going around the very outside of the equivalent circuit.